Guys, welcome back to the another new lecture. So in this lecture, I will create a uh, pages um, like that home dot template pages. So in the here, you will show that here is nothing to show. In the like the template or after the temp permanent link, then after that template, then after that discussion. So we will create this template part in the here. So just uh, you will come back in your folder location then in inside of this I'll just create a another file like the home then I using this template dot PSP and now firstly you'll just come back in the index.html.php after that you'll just copy this part and paste it here that is the very easy so after that you will come back inside of this here you will just create this part and create this here okay guys so that oh okay inside of this here then after that refresh this There's nothing to happen in the here you can just create, create this template from the here template part tmplet template name okay home template then you will show that just refresh this browser and you will show that here is the template part okay guys so hopefully you will better understand in this example so just click this uh, inside of this uh, blog.home.psp okay i'll just view this new open the new tab and copy this tab section and paste it here two times okay or three times just select this browser pages and home page and using the update this then refresh this browser okay click this home button then you will show that here is the our post oh no 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 about section when just you click this about then you will show that this is our blog page okay guys so uh, our template is dynamic totally so don't worry about this so so guys in the here you will show that this is the very easy way you can just create that home template then in the another new part this is the part in the previous lecture i already told this about how i'll just uh, define this title and content then uh, check this post do you have any post in the, on your website then you can just uh, using this uh, do while loop uh, while loop then it's very helpful for you so file uh, page dot psp then i'll come back in the index dot and paste it here everything uh, and i'll just delete this section area and i'll just delete this block section area after that i'll just create this template and it will be page dot psp in another plugin it will be add a new plugin so after that you will just uh, type here commerce then install this plugin wait a few minutes and I'll just open this browser uh, I will just open this VS code in my code in the here so this is our code home template then page template and just copy this copy and paste it here page dot home dot psp and it will be page 
is home dot PSP or you can just simply call this home page home after that it will be similar A page okay so you just come back on your browser and refresh this side of this here okay I'll just active this OCommerce so guys in this lesson uh, finally we will install this our OCommerce uh, home plugin so inside of this here so this is a uh, our so let get the down to business let us start like that you can just uh, using this or skip this store setup I'll just uh, skip skip setup store or details okay then now I'm gonna skip that step here okay you saw that so I and come to back in the home so this is our home and in the here we just connect to the ocommerce.com and to set up the refunded policy setup edit page and you just customize your store so there are settings in the here uh, ordinary users and the owner to cite that and to the theme so use the make a to the necessary different things so this is the function editing theme so as uh, made clear in the instruction um, introduction lesson so this is not a uh, for the common wordpress user but uh, for this who want to learn how to create the pages and uh, how to create the different things online store uh, using the uh, commerce only visit this configuration pages and this is the product category so you have to go to google and simply type here ocommerce commerce sample product then click this importing commerce sample data okay then after that you will come back <coughs> redownloaded in the here commerce then you will show that this is our downloading and file so we are just click this here download this okay then it will be imported in the here okay guys ocommerce ocommerce by automatic but we don't need to this we are download this our imported product from the here guys <laughs> like that follow this link okay then ocommerce set of widgets set of widgets and after that you will just follow this and obviously you will read this uh, read this o commerce documentation mm, i don't need to this come back and o commerce simple via o commerce product in the here okay guys so how to import this okay i'll check this commerce downloaded then simple here is the simple data our uh, we need to this or this file like the simple data simple product dot csv okay so I'll just come back in the browser uh, so okay I'll just <coughs> extract this file from the here okay then I'll just delete this and I'll import it this simple data okay then come back from the here and refresh this well data edit to order and reports extension store firstly I'll just fill up this okay okay that will be 
healthy electronic or everything downloads getting a start after they're selecting this imagine to which flutter store using this uh, not this file is record the big commerce Then I'll come back in the here and tools, then imported data. At first, we'll check this so commerce. Then, after that, all pages. Firstly, we'll check this storage uh, store file. Okay, then this is our shop piece. Then, then you just come to tools, then import, and in the here, everything I'll just install this run importer csv ocommerce product run importer okay i have to i have need to this product like that run importer csv okay okay just simply click this file and firstly we have to come inside of this folder then simple data after that you will just select this and upload this okay guys so updating the existing product okay not I don't need to this so everything is okay we are don't need to this anything change in the here then click this then your, your product are now being imported still now imported this your product ok wait a few minutes still now continue imported your product from the csv file mm, your store does not appear to the using secure connection we highly recommend it serving your entire website and test tbs connection okay don't worry about this now being imported okay wait a few minutes okay few seconds it will be automatically imported in this here okay then imported completed 25 products imported file uploaded so view product so that is the very easy guys okay so now come to you on your website like that store font that is the free this is your continue active my theme okay after that when you just select and set up this on your ocommerce plugin in the on in the fancy lab or like that your pro product then just click this and refresh your browser click this here oh not imported okay <coughs> just i'll come back in the op menu uh, appearance then menu mm, so click this view all and select this here my contact page checkout card then privacy policy the existing privacy policy okay shop page after the store okay add to this and i do not the i i don't know okay i and click this 
firstly in the here I don't need to this about section <coughs> I'll just remove this contract section I'll just remove this then after that it will be check out okay I don't I don't need I have no and card section I'll just remove this after that my account remove this and block section privacy section remove this store section remove this okay then simply refresh your fancy lab main menu save it okay guys so just now create another menu so obviously you just copy this and paste it here and create the new menu okay after that you'll uh, just click this here and click this everything okay i don't need this card section just to be contact then privacy policy then store add to this okay and it will be position footer menu click this refresh this okay then you will show that here is the your footer menu and here is the your home section okay everything is okay after the click this block section then you will show that in the here three blocks in the here come and click this shop then you will show that our imported product in the here okay guys so hopefully we are success uh, successfully installed our product and successfully imported our WooCommerce product we will learn about our shop dot PSP that means uh, shop pages like they click this product and it will open and you will show that here is the uh, uh, not to say then another gallery or um, another we are showing to this another pro related products inside of this our uh, description so guys just uh, we are creating uh, create this template and zoom off uh, zoom in and zoom out and to add to the card and design this product selection in the here okay guys so come come back in the code so after that you will just uh, create a another firstly we just support this index dot coded and function dot psp inside of this here we are creating this and support this code like that add theme support theme support post thumbnail i don't need to this post thumbnail it will, it will be o commerce maybe firstly we will just uh, support this add theme support may o commerce o commerce spelling mistake uh, double m it will be double m o commerce spelling this and using this inverted comma and in the here i'm going to using this array function array now inside of this here i'll just define this thumbnail and with height and everything automatically provide to you okay guys so thumbnail image with it will be 255 okay then single image with it will be similar i'll just uh, cut this and change this value then product grid here is the main uh, important and you will show the default columns that mean it will be three you will just come back in the browser and you will show that this oh okay i have a problem in the here i'll just delete this and refresh this browser okay then you will show that here is your four column like that automatically supported in the four column okay guys so it's an not a good idea 
I'll just uh, select this one product or two as you as like as you want and hopefully you will better understand this example one two three four okay guys then just select this default row it will be two then save it and refresh this okay why don't change this maximum column six it will be three I just change this one column okay then default default row it will be 10 and after that minimum minimum columns minimum columns will be 1 okay then maximum column it will be same 1 uh, maximum column default column default row will be 10 and minimum row okay default row just default rows uh, default rows 10 minimum rows it will minimum minimum rows okay just 5 and maximum rows maximum rows will be 10 Okay, I'll just cut it and paste it here and I'll just cut it. Okay, that's a good and uh, why just I'll uh, rearrange this sentence a word in the here like that default row then minimum row it will be understanding for your better understanding just i'll just re rearrange this value and this is the variable okay so after that 10 5 10 okay guys then 1 1 1 that is the good idea after that inside of this here i'm going to define this and just refresh this browser okay that's good one column it will work now it's working now so that's look and uh, that's the look nice so very fantastic so guys i'll just come back in the here and refresh this customize okay then you'll show that So okay, so after that we'll just come back in the WooCommerce widgets customization. So after that we'll just store notification that is your demo store and no order shall be fulfilled. Okay, after that product images. So in the here you will just using this custom and or ratio that is not matter mandatory uh, product catalog. Okay. You'll just come back in the product catalog show product after that you just select this one row products per row one and row per pages five okay just you'll check this one two three four five okay guys then this is the pagination so i hope you'll better understand in this example so i don't need to this anything change to the anything in the here okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand so first after that you'll just come back in the google and type here codex dot wordpress dot org then slash content content then width okay then click this first link this is the good codex.wordpress.org after that you will just come back in the here and copy this simply copy this okay have a problem inside of this here okay then come back in the here and paste it inside of this code
so just same paste this code and in the here uh, I'll just edit the theme support it like that Ocomars edit theme support after that another tag title after that oh I don't need to this post thumbnail here okay guys so hopefully you will better understand WC Ocomars than product gallery use it product gallery G Z A double L E R Y okay after this I will just delete this simply then copy this and paste it here product gallery then light box it will be light box and simply delete this LIG light box so now in the here I'll just edit the another code WC product gallery zoom okay so in the here I'm going to product gallery zoom using this firstly that is the better practice for you after that here you will just select this slider okay that's it and come to Google and simply this website and copy this file just copy this uh, coded styled CSS like that there's for each content with then after that you just edit this styled CSS come to the CSS and paste it here that's it so you just come here in the refresh this nothing to change in the here okay and to refresh this refresh this again why did don't change to the anything in the here I'll just fix this code in the next lecture. Okay.